Hi, I'm Patrick, and this is the Mach-E Vlog. Today, we're gonna to take a look at this device from Lectron. It is a Tesla charging adapter. So we'll learn all about that in just a minute. So let's go. So this device is actually really small. I've kept it in the box and put this in the front when I take the Ford portable charger with me, but you can actually take it out and like keep it in your glove box or in the, the rear of the car, wherever you want, but it's actually a super cool device. Let me go ahead and open it up. And that's it. So what this is, and this works for any EV, not just the Mach-E, you basically, uh, with a Tesla destination charger or Tesla home charger, you plug it in here and then you plug that in to the Mach-E. Now, a lot of people think this might actually work on Tesla superchargers. It does not, that's not what this is for. This is actually rated for up to 48 amps and 250 volts, which covers your Tesla home and destination chargers. And if you're unfamiliar with what those terms are, Tesla home chargers are basically what Tesla owners will install at their home. So like if you're visiting a friend or maybe an Airbnb, they may have a Tesla home charger and a Tesla destination charger. Oftentimes you'll find these at hotels and restaurants and things like that. I'll show you at the end of this video how to find Tesla destination chargers where this will be most useful. Now we're not here with a Tesla charger, but I did do a demo of this. Actually, I tested it out uh, locally here in Denver, and then we actually got to put it to a real world use while we were on our recent road trip. So I'm gonna show you both of those now. So here's the Tesla destination charger. Has a long cable, but we need it to be really long to reach over to the Mach-E. So we're, that should be good enough. So the first time I'm doing this, apparently, you plug this in, give it time to, ah, there we go. There's a little lever there. Give it time to like recognize that there's an adapter on it. Uh, I wanna give it a few seconds. I heard somebody say 30 seconds. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'll, I'll look that up. But then we're gonna plug it in and see. I hear the Maki lock it in. And the charger over there now looks like it's putting power into the car. This is flashing, so it looks like it's charging as well. Yep, it says it's charging. We're at 52%. It says it'll complete to 100% because we're not at home. It's by default going to 100% by 923, so that's like five hours. Uh, interesting, it says it'll be 259 miles of range. This car has 260 miles. I plugged in at 426, which is one minute ago. So it looks like it's working. And of course to stop it, it's just like the normal, we're gonna hit stop. Once it's done, we can unplug from the Mach-E. And then now we can also press that lever, unplug and we're all good. So I had this stored up in the front just for situations like this. Shh. Um, this is the Tesla, the J1772 uh, adapter. It's in this vlog. It's also in this review of the adapter. I'm gonna put this, this video in both. We tested this out before we left Denver, but now we're gonna give it a try here. We should be able to just, uh, oh, is it? There we go, I thought it was hung up. So what we learned is we want to plug it in, give it about 30 seconds. Um, apparently that lets the hardware in the adapter connect with the uh, Tesla charger. And then we should be able to charge. I'm going to get a little bit more cable. What do you, what do you think? Is that long enough? Yeah. We'll give it a try and see if it does anything. It's windy. Um, but it was also like, this is a real world, perfect example. Being, I'm sorry for the crows. Being here at a hotel that has Tesla chargers, 
uh, if they didn't have any J1772, we would we would be able to charge. It's a great thing to have this capability. It's charging at uh, 6.8, 6.9. It's going up. We're so that's awesome. We're hoping for nine because that's what we saw on plug share. Yeah. And that would be a great speed. And I can watch the amps. I think over here, if it says maximum 48 amps, and we are at 28, uh, 27 amps right now, and uh, we're almost there. Yeah, that looks like that will probably be about what we get is 8.9. Uh, I saw a nine for a second. <laughs> you guys can't see this, but the numbers are changing. This is the car scanner app that I can use to monitor the car with the ODB2 dongle. I have another video on that coming, so check that out. But very cool to be able to get a charge here at the hotel that we're staying at tonight and charging is free, so awesome. Yay. Now we gotta go check in so we're actually authorized to be parked here. <laughs> <laughs> so the charging went perfectly. I got a notification on my phone, of course I was asleep, at 5 a.m. this morning that we reached 100%. It basically charged at nine kilowatts the whole time. So I think this is definitely a success. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug, take my electron adapter off, and then put everything back on the Tesla adapter. But this is a great option to have. We were lucky that there was J1772 and Tesla here, but this just gives us some flexibility and options. Uh, I believe it's 159 on Amazon. So as a little bit of an insurance policy, I think it's a great buy. So if you think so, I'll put the link down below so you can make the purchase directly via the affiliate link. Okay, so here is the PlugShare website. There's also a PlugShare app where you can do pretty much exactly the same thing, but I'm gonna show you here because it's easier to see on your screen. So this is sort of like one of the, the views that I look at a lot. I'm looking for fast charging when I'm traveling, so that's why this, this view is selected. All of the orange icons are fast charging stations, but what we wanna do are is find Tesla destination chargers. And for example, like in the, the demo that I did, a Tesla destination charger at a hotel. So I'm gonna click on the little hamburger menu. I'm going to unselect the CCS charger. And now it's giving me a warning that like I have nothing selected. And then we're going to select incompatible plugs. Now, as I was saying, the Tesla adapter that we are demoing does not work with the superchargers or Tesla fast, but it does work with this plug here, the Tesla regular plug. And all of a sudden now you see a bunch of green uh, charging stations. Those are the Tesla adapter or Tesla uh, destination chargers. So if I zoom in, I can, I can click on one of these uh, best Western Zion and it'll give me all the details and say like, okay, there are three plugs. They are Tesla destination chargers and provide up to 16 kilowatts of charging. And you can see just like with a, a regular, you know, plug share station or a listed station, you can see other people's uh, check-ins. There may be uh, little notes or, or whatnot. And uh, then you can sort of decide like, okay, is this a decent charging location for me to hit up? Now, if you're traveling, of course, you may be looking at where can you charge overnight at a hotel and have a, a Tesla destination charger. So we're going to go back in here, scroll down a little bit, and you can do some temporary filters. And what you would probably want to do is select hotel or lodging, and you'll see a few of those dropped off, but a lot of them stayed. And that is because uh, a lot of the Tesla chargers are destination chargers. So we're going to zoom in here a little bit to where we stayed. Um, and then there it is, Best Western plus Settlers Point. That's the one that we stayed at where we were able to successfully charge. If I click on that, you can actually see up here, um, that's the uh, photo that I took from my hotel window outside of our car charging. And then there's the one I took right after I plugged in right at sunset. So you can add your own photos here. You can, uh, it says I checked in on October 1st. That's when we charged. And then uh, 
you know, I put that I used the Tesla charger since they were all empty and I wanted to test my Tesla adapter from Electron. That was the last check-in there. So you won't see as many check-ins as, you know, you will on like DC fast chargers, but that is a good thing to check. Um, let me see if I can find another example real quick because we tried to charge in Vegas when we were there uh, a couple of weeks earlier. Let's see if I can find a one that we tried to charge at. Uh, yep, there it is. Hilton Garden Inn. You can see it only gets a 3.5. And I checked in on September 3rd and I couldn't charge there. Through no fault of the adapter, uh, the Tesla charger was actually down. And you could see like other people had reported that the Tesla charger was not working previously. So, you know, you can find these uh, Tesla destination chargers at hotels, but check ahead of time to make sure they're working. And like in this location, there was only one station. So it wasn't actually a great choice because if somebody would have beat me to it, they would have had first dibs on it. But if, you know, you can do a little bit of research and see like if there's three or four uh, destination chargers, you're probably more likely to have luck being able to charge there and charge overnight. You can also, you know, I just selected a hotel lodging, but if you wanted to say like, I want one instead, I'm going to be there for just a couple hours. You can select like dining and then it'll let you know ones that are uh, located near something to eat as well. So that's how you can find places where you can charge with this uh, te Electron Tesla adapter by searching for Tesla destination chargers. So as you can see, pretty simple to use. The device is really simple. I mean, you can't really see too much detail, but you know, you just plug the uh, Tesla handle in here. It actually clamps on with this lever under here that um, I sort of forgot the first time that I used it. And then the other end is just like your normal J1772 connector with the little uh, release lever to like clamp onto your charge port of your Mach-E or like I said, other EVs that aren't Teslas. It feels very solid and sturdy. Um, it handles up to 48 amps of power, which is you know good enough for you know getting your, your Mach-E charged or other EV charged. Feels, uh, like I said, it's solid, but it's compact. So that's what I like about this one. There's some others that have uh, like a cable attached to it. So originally I thought of this as like an insurance policy. Like if we were out and about and we were desperate for a charge and I found a Tesla destination charger, we could get like an emergency amount of juice to go to wherever we're going. But after using it on our road trip and seeing that there are uh, destination chargers at hotels where you can get free charging, now I think of it as like, this is access to more free charging that may be out there. So, uh, you know, we got like one free charge that was probably worth 25, 30 bucks to us. But, uh, you know, if I keep doing that over the next couple of years, this will definitely pay for itself and make up for the fact that it's a, it's a $160 device, $159 device. So I highly recommend it. Very solidly built, compact, easy to use. What more could you ask for? If you're interested, uh, I will put a link down below that you can just click on and go directly to the Amazon page to buy it. It is an affiliate link. Um, I will disclose that they also sent this to us for review. So this is a review product, but uh, you know, I truly believe that like this is a, a great little device as an insurance policy, plus a way to access more free charging. So let me know what you think. Do you guys uh, think this is worthwhile? Drop a comment down below. Check out that description for more details on this one and a link to, to buying it. Thanks for watching the whole video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified of all of our Mach-E videos, all of our EV videos where we do road trips, product reviews, and give a lot of tips, just have a bunch of fun, all that good stuff. And you gotta say, thanks to Liv, she's filming, and she would say, no matter what you drive or who's filming, enjoy your ride.